Hello, this is Paolo and today I'm going to show you how to set up some materials in reality and how the material editor in reality is many times more convenient than using whatever you have in alternative like the poser uh, material room or the DASA Studio uh, Surface tab. So uh, we'll start, we'll show you this in uh, Poser, but the same concepts are valid in Studio. I just don't want to do the same video twice, so bear with me. Even if you are a Studio user, keep watching this video because the procedure is the same whether you're using Poser or Studio, and you'll see the benefits. So for uh, this example, I'm going to just bring Aiko 3, a very old figure, uh, but uh, a good example in this case, in the scene. And Aiko, or Aiko, I don't know if the pronunciation is correct in one way or the other. I'll pronounce it Aiko. So Aiko comes with this funny, uh, uh, short, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's not a spandex suit. It's a... Uh, sort of like a wetsuit. Anyway, um, this is not meant to be a realistic character, so that makes it makes the use of reality even more intriguing. But in any case, uh, here we have a character that comes with a, a, a predefined skin. Uh, we have some a funny effect here on the feet. We're going to just get rid of that by removing the inverse kinematics. Okay, and I have, I don't have in this case a pre-made material. I just have a bunch of textures, a image maps that could be used to replace the standard skin. So if I had to go in a poser and do this inside poser, let me just make some room here. So. For example, I would look at the skin torsion. No? So this is the skin torsion, one of these elements here. And so actually, let's start with, with the skin face. It's easier. Skin head. OK. So first of all, um, the skin is defined just as a solid color. So I would need to find a way of tell Poser to use a, an image map. And that is done by right clicking in here in the editor, select the new node, go to the 2D textures and select an image map node. Now in the image map node, now I'm selecting the head uh, texture, which is this. As you see, I have this character, HANA A3, which was an old freebie that are just the image maps, there are no material presets, so I have to make them. I have to make the materials by myself. So I select this and click open and confirm it. And then I want to connect this node to the diffuse color, to the diffuse channel. Before I do that, I'm going to just change the color to white, so it doesn't give any tint to my texture and then I do the connection. Okay, so now we see that we have changed the face, but the rest of the body needs to do the same conversion. And that's where this process becomes so tedious because now I have to select the skin scalp, right click and um, create a new texture as I did before and so on so forth, blah, blah, blah. I don't have the time. I don't want to do it. I know I'm going to use reality. So why bother? I'm going to call just a reality. So let's go to the pose room. We don't need the material room anymore. We call reality. And here in the materials, I sort the material types, sort the material by type, and so now I have all the skin materials together. Now, first thing I want to do is to identify materials that will use the same texture. So the skin torso, the skin thigh, the skin shin, scalp, 
um, neck, knee, hip, no, the hand, no, the head, the hand, yes, forearm, skin, feet, skin, arm, and, and nipples. Okay, so now we have all these elements, all these materials selected together. So at this point, we want to assign the right texture to all these materials. And what I do here is to simply click on the gear menu, select edit, change this texture type from color to image map. At this point, I select the image map that will go in all these materials. And so I select a new file and here I take the body. Done. And one single operation. I don't have to do all that maneuver of creating nodes. Done. Okay. So now I'm going to go for skin head. Here is already our texture from before that we selected in, uh, we created in uh, Poser. Now what I'm going to do here is to create uh, a texture for the lip material here it is same deal so edit image map select a new file and we'll get the head material and then I need to uh, do something for the eyelashes so let's go back to alphabetical order eyelashes okay so eyelashes I'm not going to change the color here but see that there are no eyelashes because by default, it seems that mm, the eyelashes are um, transparent because there is no map there. There is no transparency map. If I if I make them uh, if I make them solid, they will be completely solid. Okay, and we don't want this. So uh, I change the opacity to one to be full op opaque. But then I need an alpha map. I need an, a transparency map. So I click on the menu again on the gear menu. Select a new image map. And then I get the lashes TR, you know, that means lashes transparency, and uh, add it to here. You can, we can see that already we have an eff the right effect here in the material. So now I'm all set. Let's go to Poser again. We have our camera here. It doesn't matter that materials here in Poser are not completely modified because we did all the changes in reality. The reality materials are self-standing and we are rendering with reality. So we don't care about the poser materials. And I just render the frame and let me just lower this so it can fit in our screen. And uh, let's fit this frame here, apply. There you go. Oh. I did some mistake here. See this, this material, this is kind of funky, but you know, the eyelashes are perfect. The skin is perfect. The lips are perfect. So let's see what happens here. Let's close this. And these things happen, you know, initially you might just decide that one material goes in one, uh, one texture goes in one material. And sometimes we just pick the wrong one. So no problem there. Easy, quick, let's, we quit the program and we go, so what, what kind of material is that? If we go to, to the material room in Poser and we select this one, it's a skin sculpt. Okay, a skin sculpt. Okay, I can see my error. If I look at the skin sculpt here, probably we use the body texture here while it needs the head texture. Yes, we have the body texture here and we need to use the uh, head texture. No problem. We just click on this because reality knows that when you click on uh, image map texture, most of the times so you just want to change the file. And that's exactly the case. So I'm going to change from henna body TX to henna head TX. Perfect. Done. No problem. Confirmation in the material preview at this point. Let's render again, see what happens. And again, apply. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful render in a few seconds. 
we didn't go through all the mess of creating material in Poser or Studio and all that kind of stuff. The ma reality material editor is so much simpler, so much more direct, and you can select all the materials in one single step, uh, multiple materials at least, and you get your results in a fraction of the time. Now, do we want to look if the rest of the body is fine? Yes, so a little warning here, there will be nudity involved, so uh, if you need to make some arrangements, make them now. And I'm gonna quit Lux again. We're gonna switch Imposer to our main camera, and in reality, click Render Frame again. And now we will see if the whole body has been textured correctly. There you go, it looks pretty good right now. I'm gonna change my exposure right away. And uh, perfect. We have textured our character in a few minutes with less work than it would be involved otherwise, and um, learn a couple of things about the Reality Material Editor. So I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.